just when you thought Bo was already as powerful as it could get. It's got one more trick up its sleeve, and that is melee attacks. Now, I know what you're thinking. Bo has the lamest melee attacks. They hardly do any damage. Why would anyone use them at all? Well, if they weren't really cool, I wouldn't be making a video about it, would I? Now, if you're still skeptical, think about this. My basic melee attacks with bow do more damage than the basic melee attacks of sword and shield. What that tells me is bow melee has a lot of potential. Something else to think about. You don't have to sharpen your bow. That's right, a melee weapon, technically your weapon is the arrow, a melee weapon that never needs sharpening. But wait, there's more. Bow has a counterattack that has iframes and does melee damage at the same time that you're evading. And it's essentially infinite. We're talking about dodgebolt here. Dodgebolt uses very little stamina. You can do it to start a combo from a standstill or after any other attack. Something else that the bow has that no other melee weapon has, multiple status attacks. Yup, some bows can do poison, para, and sleep, and will even do blast. As long as you're using melee attacks, you do not use up your arrow coatings, but you still apply the status. As for silkbind moves, bow has one that boosts attack by 5%. It also has dodge bolt, which I already mentioned, and it has an evasive move that apparently has iframes and can reposition you significantly further away or which you can use to close a large gap. When you put all that together, that sounds like an amazing melee weapon. So what do we have to do to make what I'm gonna call an arrow build? First of all, let's drop all the bow related armor skills and replace them with attack based skills. Wrap it up, gone. Bow charge plus, gone. Constitution, stamina surge, get rid of them. They're useless for arrow mains. Let's replace them with some elite damage skills. Attack seven, counter strike three. Yeah, I went there. We're gonna get hit. So let's get that plus 25 to attack. Max out the crit boost, keep reload speed and evade extender. Add in some fortify, a bit of defense boost. Remember, even though we're using melee attacks, we still have the 50% defense penalty of a ranged weapon user. So we'll take all the defense we can get. As for switch skills, power shots are relevant. We definitely want dodge bolt. It's an integral part of our combos. And since aerial aim is primarily shot damage, let's switch it out to focus shot, which can reposition us rather quickly. So you still think this is a meme build? Check out these combos. Dodge bolt, lunging melee, 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 dodge bolt. Dodge bolt, dodge bolt, dodge bolt, dodge bolt, dodge bolt, dodge bolt. Melee, dodge bolt, lunging melee. And it goes on and on. There are an infinity of combos. And the combos are all infinite. I'll let you think about that. The only rule we have to follow is this. Lunging melee can only come after a dodge bolt. And regular melee cannot come after a dodge bolt. Other than that, your combos are wide open. So we've got our build, our armor skills, our switch skills. We've got our bow picked out. We've got our combos set. Does this actually work in the real world? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's do this.
so you can see I'm clearing quests in well under 10 minutes. And I've had barely any practice with this. I'm going to post the full quest as a separate video, so you can see there's no trickery, this isn't a hoax, this is a legit build with real potential. So let me know in the comments how I can improve this build, what awesome combos you'd use, and subscribe to the channel. Lots of videos up right now, and lots more on the way. And for you bow users out there, the next time someone asks you what weapon you use, just tell them, you're an arrow main.